Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit to the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force BDF upon arrival. His Majesty the King was welcomed by the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Royal Guard Special Force Commander Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty was accompanied by the Royal Court Minister and was also welcomed by a number of senior BDF. BDF officers. His Majesty the King was briefed on the future plans to develop all BDF branches and preparations for the upcoming training session in accordance with the preset plans. His Majesty expressed appreciation for and pride in all BDF personnel and their constant keenness to carry out their patriotic duties with dedication, courage and determination for the best interests of the security of the homeland and the citizens. His Majesty the King also praised the, royal p the role played by the brave BDF servicemen and the noble efforts they exert in solidarity with others while carrying out humanitarian operations and providing relief aid to brotherly and friendly countries, citing the humanitarian efforts to support sisterly Afghanistan and its dear people. His Majesty the King wished the BDF and his personal further success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadaybiya Palace. Following International Day of Charity, the cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's continuous support of the kingdom's humanitarian initiatives which receive global recognition. In this regard, the cabinet lauded the royal directives to provide humanitarian aid to Afghanistan under the supervision of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation. The cabinet condemned and denounced the Houthi terrorist attacks against the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which targeted the eastern province and Jizan and Najran, endangered the lives of innocent civilians and are in clear violations of international law. The cabinet reiterated the Kingdom of Bahrain's full support of measures taken by Saudi Arabia to preserve the security and safety of its country and people. The cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Civil Service Council regarding the restructuring of a number of government agencies to further improve efficiency and performance. A memorandum by the Civil Service Council regarding the use of the government employee application for employment within ministries and government institutions to provide public sector employees the chance to apply for job opportunities available in other government agencies and to enhance career prospects. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU on economic and technical cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Cyprus, which aims to strengthen relations between the two countries and exchange expertise. 
A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the signing of an agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Cyprus on an exemption from visa requirements for holders of diplomatic and civil service passports to facilitate travel procedures between the two countries. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the restructuring of the National Committee on the Prohibition of Development, Production and Stockpiling of Chemical Weapons and on their Destruction. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the Government's response to a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects on the Committee's endeavours for the first half of 2021, which included the topics discussed by the Committee and its priorities in following up on accelerating the implementation of projects. The Cabinet took note of several Ministerial reports on outcomes of the seventh meeting of the bahraini Omani Joint Ministerial Committee and the prep participation in the 2021 annual meetings of the Board of Governors of ISDB Group, which was held held in Tashkent, Republic of Uzbekistan, and the outcomes of international visits to the Russian Federation and the Republic of Chechnya. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Ambassador of the UAE to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan at Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of relations between Bahrain and the UAE, which has furthered cooperation at all levels, benefiting both countries and their people. His Royal Highness noted that the strong bilateral partnership is attributed to the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. President of the UAE. His Royal Highness then received greetings and a letter from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. In response, His Royal Highness offered greetings to His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. The letter included an official invitation for His Royal Highness to visit the UAE, which His Royal Highness welcomed, noting that official visits can further advance bilateral ties. For his part, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and wished Bahrain continued progress and prosperity and expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's continued support to further Bahrain UAE relations. The meeting was also attended by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his happiness over the latest achievement by Team Bahrain Victorious Road Cycling Team in the Netherlands and Belgium, where it won the first and second places and won the prize of the youngest biker. His Highness Sheikh said that uh, this achievement affirms the levels to which the team has risen in Europe and the world, and that winning titles are a clear indication of the progress they are making in line with the Kingdom's Economic Vision 2030. He said that the team is living a success story thanks to this latest achievement in what is considered to be among the most competitive European races, which was widely attended and fiercely contested. His Highness looked forward to further achievements by the team and wished his technical and administrative teams further success. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has dedicated the victory of Jabal Khan Kamel, winning first place in the second half of the third edition of the Crown Prince Kamel Festival held at Taif Kamel Square in Saudi Arabia, to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness stressed that the support of His Majesty to Heritage Sports is the basis for achieving these distinguished results, and the support His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has strengthened the presence of Bahrain in regional and international podiums. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizers of the festival. His Highness noted that this achievement will be a motivation for more successes in the coming period, indicating that Bahraini participation has set the finest examples of the advanced stages Bahrain reached in camel sports. His Highness also wished uh, that these achievements would continue in the upcoming participations. 
The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fozi Azenal, addressed the 13th Summit of Women Speakers of Parliament in the Austrian capital, Vienna. Zainal affirmed that Bahraini women have been impressively successful in confronting the COVID-19 pandemic as a result of the rapid and effective response in all workplaces. She added they, that they contributed to the development and advancement of Bahraini model, which demonstrates their remarkable role in national development through their high-profile presence in the front lines to confront the virus representing 75% of all the workers in the National Task Force to combat the pandemic. Zainal was the only Arab woman speaker participating in the summit. In her keynote spe speech, she has highlighted the contributions of Bahraini women in confronting the COVID-19 pandemic. Zainal hailed the generous commitments and dedication of women to humanity and protecting societies from risks and challenges. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, expressed on behalf of the ministry's employees, public and private educational institutions and students gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for His Majesty's support to students at the start of the 2021-2022 academic year. The minister praised His Majesty the King's care for education in Bahrain, the support of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and continuous follow-up of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training under His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. And Naimi expressed his pride in His Majesty the King's praise of the efforts of the education employees, noting that the ministry has always worked to provide the best educational standards and meet the students' needs, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif al Rashid Zayani, received at his office at the ministry a delegation of U.S. Congress staff on the occasion of the delegation's official visit to Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs commended the strong historic relations and the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the United States. He also highlighted prominent role played by the U.S. in promoting security, peace, and stability in the region and the world. The U.S. delegation lauded the close bilateral ties between the two countries in various fields, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The two sides exchanged views on the most prominent regional and international issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Chief of America's Affairs Ambassador Sheikh Abdullah bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,151,100 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,092,728 had taken the second, and 261,619 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 938 with 106 recoveries and 92 registered new cases. 48 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 29 are contacts of active cases and 15 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.